Hello mother funsters and welcome to part 33 of Zelda Wind Waker casual let's play. My name is Mella. Last time we started in the Savage Labyrinth on Outset Island. So now we're going to continue down the Savage Labyrinth and look for some more trifle shards. <coughs> Next level. What have we got in here? Ah, Deki Bubbers. Oh, these, these guys are easy with the, uh... <laughs> if you've got the, um, boomerang, these guys are easy. You literally just throw things at them. Oh. Ah, oh, it's saying how easy they are, and then I've got absolutely owned by one. There we go. I may as well just use the boomerang. There you go. Next level. The levels are roughly um, themed, aren't they? So the first ten are roughly themed on um, Dragon Rose Cavern. And then this level is... These uh, ten are roughly themed on um, the Forest Haven um, dungeon. The Forbidden Woods, I think it's called. There you go. Next level. Oh no. Are they all dead? Please say they're dead. I don't want them to spawn any of those little things. Right, okay, we're dead. They spawn those little circular things that are really creepy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Camera. Okay, we're good. I think that's it. Yeah, next level. Slow down there, lovely. Nice, no worries. <laughs> ah, little bitch, no worries. Look, hasn't even got a weapon. Love it. Next level. Oh no, no, these need to die straight away. Right. There we go, I think we killed all the ones that uh, could cause us problems. Oh! Oh, he nearly got me there. Get up, come on. That's the last one, nice. Oof. I think there's more of those in the next one. They're flying now, aren't they, as well? Yeah, great. Oh no, he's created a load of those things. Those things are so creepy. Die, seriously, die. Stop making more of them. There's so many of them. They're so creepy, I hate them. I'm just gonna run. Ugh, I hate those things, that's so creepy. <laughs> ah! Ah, restroom. Lovely. Right. Ah, oh, nice, that one was 50 rupees. Ah, nice. More than 100 rupees in that, beautiful. Right, let's continue. So, I think the next 10 will be in the theme of the Tower of the Gods, I guess. Looks like Tower of the Gods. There's nothing here though. What's gonna spawn, do you think? Oh, it's a whiz robe, isn't it? Yep. Bastards. Ooh. Run, run! There you 
go. No drama. A little bit of lost health, but not very much. Right. Next. Ah. Few of these dudes. These are almost statues, they're called. while they're going mental. Oh, one button. Right, there we go. That's the last one of those. Bye! <laughs> right, let's go. Now the big armor statues. We've got bombs. Might as well use them. Oh dear. Run, run, run. Did I get him? Oh no, I must have missed. Ah, nice. Next. Alright, oh, another one of these. There must be other things in this room as well, because we've already fought a load of these. Ah! Uh -huh. I wasn't expecting chews, I was expecting uh, Boca Blinds. Oh! Nope! Run away! I need to make sure that I don't hit them while they're electrified, otherwise they hurt me. So actually, I'm not sure if um, parrying them is a good idea. Probably not. Just don't parry them. I think if I parried them, I'll probably get hurt by the electricity. Right, next level. Oh, these guys. Um, these guys are bitches, aren't they, for this? I think they just die straight away. Yep. You can, uh, you can get them with the um, Deku Leaf as well. This is just easier. There you go. Easy. Next level. Aha! Uh -huh. So we do have um, a Dark Knight in here. A couple of other enemies as well. Dark Knights are kind of easy on their own. There you go, look, see? No problems. What you're going to do is come through on me while I got there first. And I had a sword. <laughs> oh, let me take that. Next level. Okay, what else is here other than these guys? Must be something. Right, there must be something else in this room other than just these three. Probably whiz robes. Yeah, there we go, look. I'm glad I didn't have to fight those at the same time, that could have got quite messy. I don't know. Ah, I see. Well, if I'm not mistaken, those skulls on the floor are enemies. <laughs> nice. <laughs> uh, don't, don't, don't! 
pushing the wrong button. Come on now. There we go. Alright, we've got him now. No problems. I lost a fair bit of health now, I suppose. I'm still going to be okay though. I mean, I've got two fairies and um, that bottle of um, ju uh, soup that um, good old Gran gave us. Good old Gran. Oh, I got them both! What a shot, mate! Oh, he nearly got me there. There you go, I've got them both now. <laughs> nice. Oh, wow. Nice. I like using their own swords against them, that's fun. I think we must be near another in-between level. Is this an in-between level? Oh no, this is it! We did it! Yeah! So now we've got to decide whether we want to go continue through the Savage Labyrinth. Alright, so does any you guys, you want to vote on whether we continue through the Savage Labyrinth or whether we stop here? Uh, I'll let you guys decide. I don't remember which, one, which of the two circles I need to stand on, if I'm honest with you. I think I probably need to stand on this one in the middle. Right, Wind Waker. There we go. Do, do, do. If I don't hear anything on the chat, I'm gonna leave the Savage Labyrinth. Is what I came here for. Do, 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 do. There we go, we've got a Triforce chart. Right, let's leave. There we are. Oh, that'll do. Yay, that was easy. No worries. Let's go and um, get some Triforce pieces then, I guess, guys. Um, we I don't want to get um, floating out to sea. <laughs> we'll end up drowning if we don't have the boat. We don't want to drown. There we go. Right. What do we want? Now, I do believe, if I remember rightly, I think we need to go in this direction. Or, um thing that we need the um the chart that makes it so that we can see i think i may have slightly overshot that we need the chart so that we can see where the um ghost ship is hold on we just see if i can get this ah no forget it i think it's this one all right this is just from memory uh i think it's in this direction i'm not sure i'm not at all sure um I think it's either this one or this one it's one of the two I mean, there, so there actually is a picture of the ship on the map, uh, but then there's one up there as well, so I don't know. But uh, we'll go over there and we'll see what we can find. I mean, the least we can do is uh, open up the map so that we can see uh, what the name of the island is, and you know, so that our, our map's actually looking pretty good. Look, uh, we've got more than half of all of the islands uh, on. on Uncovered, as it were, so we can see what's what's going on where. Yeah, look at him. All determined. Wee, and then he looks a little bit shocked. Oh, <gasps> oh. <Ooh. laughs> uh. Right, we're gonna. Go speak to the fishy first. And then we'll get on the island. I think this is the right island, you know? It, it rings a bell to me. Oh, 
that's the wrong item. I want uh, the... Okay, that's what we want. That's what I want. Here we are. Hey, I'm just here. Do 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 do. There we go, Horseshoe Island. Uh, on the island due east here lives an old man who was once a master swordsman. He got proof of it too, he has a knight's crest. So that's, he's talking about uh, Outset Island. Uh, Want to know what the thing is, Fry? Well, too bad, I can't go giving away every secret. <laughs> it's alright, we've already sorted that one out anyway, thanks mate. Right. We want to be getting onto this island. Uh, which is, I think the way on is somewhere in this kind of direction. Ooh, we're attacking. Close by here, I think. Do we need to... turn no way on without using the thing? Or... Oh no, here we go. Right, so what we need here is we need this. So this is like golf, basically. There you go, you got to get the ball in the hole in order to progress. Easy, right? This premise is simple. Oh, it's gone a little bit off course. Ah, I still got it in the hole, nice! Oh! Ah, right, I'm going to have to roll this one from here, I think. Oh, it fell off the edge. They respawn pretty quick though, so we're good. Is that gonna make it? Oh, just about made it. That was close. Yeah, boy. I think that's... That's it, isn't it? So we've got Trish chest. But we should also have a hole that we can enter, I think. My question is, I think we'll get the treasure chest on the way out. Otherwise, we'll have to go all the way back around in, I think. Oh, my lord. Yeah. Fuck these guys. There we go. Come on, die. No. Oh. Killing them all! Oh! Did I almost exit accidentally? I really don't want to exit accidentally. Oh, that was close. <laughs> See how close I was to accidentally just exiting the room then. Gosh. But I'm hoping this is the pirate ship treasure chart. That's just a normal treasure chart. Damn. Okay. Well, it's better than nothing, I suppose. Uh, it could be on the... There's a chest outside as well. It could be in the chest outside. Well, it might be on another island entirely. Um, it might be on there. There's one island to the north that it might be on. Uh, let's go and get this treasure chest, though, over here. Uh, Ender Savages X. Hello! How are you doing? Uh, we are playing Wind Waker. We are playing the... GameCube version, so we're having to go around finding all the Triforce charts. How are you doing today? I hope you're having an absolutely wonderful day. Um, I'm certainly enjoying today. This game is amazing. I've played it a few times before. Really enjoying it. Hope you're loving it too. Whee! That was close. Please be something useful in this chest. Please be something useful in this chest. Not that useful. Shame. Um... Yeah, if you played Wind Waker before, are you a fan of Zelda? What brings you here? Uh, thanks for dropping by. Uh, we're going to have to get back on the boat, I guess. Uh, we may as well... Oh, no. Let's get back on the boat first. We're open, we may as well open those treasure charts just so we can see... You know... 
Oh, there's a Triforce chart. Just so we can see, you know, the uh, the treasure that is hidden behind them. I'm good, just uh, looking around watching Wing Waker. Isn't it just the greatest game ever? I love this game. Um, we need to get out of here. Right, we need to go north now. I think we're going to need to change the wind direction as well. I can't remember where the... Um, the map is that makes it so that I can see where the ghost ship is. I know that it's in this area, but I can't remember exactly which island it's on. But now I take it you're a fan of Wind Waker. Have you played it before? Have you played it many times before? Oh, didn't see him coming. Diamond Step Isle. Yes, that rings a bell actually. Thank you very much. I do believe it's somewhere around here. I think it's this. Is it Five Reef. No. I think it's the next one north. I do believe. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's in this kind of area. Right, let's just stop off. We're trying to get all the rupees that we can as well, because you know what Tingle's like. He's rinsing us off all of our rupees. Oh, that was close. Whew. Nearly got owned by that pea hat. Yeah, but uh, Tingle's rinsing us of all our ru rupees, so we're just picking up every rupee we can find at the moment. Hey, 50 rupees. That's pretty good. Let's get out of here. I have played it before, even 100%ed both GameCube and HD versions. Fantastic. I have to admit, I've never 100%ed this game. I have got all of the pictographs on the original GameCube version, uh, but I didn't then go ahead and finish all of the rest of the bits off. Uh, I've never 100% of the game, but I have played through it several times. Um, probably somewhere in the region of about 10 times, I think. Uh, so I really, really do love this game. I played it when it first came out. Rutarius, still going, I see. Well, welcome back, Rutarius. Thank you very much for lurking. It is, it is appreciated. I hope you are enjoying the stream and whatever else you you're up to today. Um, we won't be going out for too much longer, maybe another... 45 minutes or so. I want to try and get as many of the Triforce Shards as possible so that then, um, if possible, if we can get all of them before the end of today's stream, then we can start next stream by going, you know, into Hyrule uh, and sort of essentially finish um, starting off at the finale. Uh, or at least what I consider to be the finale. And now, this is, this is a fantastic game. It's got um, a lot of people that really, really love this game and uh, still watch it on Twitch. So, uh, Thanks very much for coming along, I really do appreciate it. Um, like I said earlier, I love playing the game. Playing the game in and of itself is fun, but playing it and enjoying it with you guys just makes it so much more fun. I really do enjoy like sharing the fun and, and having a chat and all that. It's it's just so, so much fun. I really do uh, just appreciate the time that I spend. Guys. Uh, if you use the treasure uh, that's hidden on the island there, the thing that vanishes as soon as you get under it won't vanish anymore. You know it. I know exactly what you're talking about. Uh, he is talking about the ghost ship. This is my favourite Zelda game. Absolutely. Um, I have to say I myself prefer Ocarina just slightly. Mostly because Ocarina was actually the first Zelda game that I ever played. Uh, but this comes in a very close second, I have to say. This is absolutely such an amazing game. Um, so well aged as well, uh, with its uh, cel shaded graphics. Um, I'm just trying to remember the way onto this island. Um, I suppose we probably have to use a bookshop. Oh! Onto one of these trees. There we go. I don't remember a huge amount about this island, I have to say. Hmm. Well, we'll make our way anyway. Uh, oh, there we go. There's a tree that we can hook onto. Thank the Lord for the hook shot. Just one of the best items in the game, isn't it? But no, I remember I got this. Um, I got this game when it first came out. Essentially, when it first came out, not immediately when it first came out, but the Christmas after it came out, because I got the GameCube and Wind Waker for Christmas. Oh, hello, mate. Along with. Um, what was the other game that I got with it? It was uh, Star Fox Adventures, which is a good game. Um, if you like Star Fox, you might not like it, but because it's basically a Zelda clone, I really actually enjoyed playing that game. And it was just the best Christmas ever. Uh, there's the hole. Oh, no! Oh, that just happened. <laughs> that, that just happened. 
God, this is my first Zelda game ever. I think generally, generally speaking, most people's first game that they played in a series is normally the favourite. Uh, I can attest to this because Final Fantasy X is my favourite Final Fantasy game. And that was my first one that I played in the series. I'm really hoping that I'm going to get to the edge here. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. I should have got on to the boat. Come on, Link. Don't drown on me. Ah, oh, that sucked. Um, but yeah, I mean, this game is amazing. No, no, no argument there at all. Wow. Did we really come that far away? <laughs> we spawned such a long way away. That sucks. Right. Okay, fine. So uh, let's go back on then, shall we? I don't know why we spawned such a long way away. That's really weird. If this is your favourite Zelda game, um, have you played all of the other 3D Zeldas? Are there any that you've missed? Um, I've played all of the 3D Zeldas myself. The one that I missed for the longest time was Ma uh, Majora's Mask. Because uh, I didn't have the little expansion pack uh, that came with the game. Uh, with, uh, that, that you needed, sorry, for, the, um, for playing it on the N64. <coughs> Excuse me. So I didn't play it until um, it came out on the 3DS. Um, which was way, way, way late. Way late. Just trying to stay hydrated so that my bot doesn't shout at me. I've got one of those stay hydrated bots that one of my guildies set up for me. Right, is is that mob going to have respawned? Yeah. Only one I haven't played is Ocarina. Ooh. Well, if you do get the opportunity to play it, I recommend it. Absolutely fantastic game. There are a couple of the um, sort of the puzzles outside of um, temples and dungeons that are a little bit like, okay, how on earth was I supposed to know that? But other than that, seriously, it's absolutely fantastic game. <laughs> how have you not played OOT? I don't know, it depends, man. It depends on so many things. It's a fantastic game though, seriously. It's, uh, it's If you like Zelda, it's kind of a must play, so I recommend it. It's out on the 3DS, if you've got a 3DS. It looks amazing on the 3DS as well, it's amazing. I'm feeling a little bit coffee at the moment, so I'm just gonna put myself on mute while I just do this. Hold on. Sorry guys, um, hopefully that didn't come through the microphone, I don't think it did. Uh, I did have a cold a couple of, about a week ago. I've mostly gotten rid of the cold, but I still have a bit of a cough. Uh, it won't quite go away, it won't leave me alone, which is a bit annoying. You will not... No! No! Move! Oh, damn these things. There we go. Uh, the reason is because I have to be in a mindset whenever I want to play a Zelda game. I want to, I want to hundred percent it on the first run. Ah, well, I'm happy to report that uh, Ocarina of Time isn't a particularly difficult game to one hundred percent. It's actually the only video game I think I've ever one hundred percented. Um, apart from getting all the one hundred hundred skull chulas, um, it's not too challenging actually. It's not too bad. It's a lot easier to 100% than Wind Waker, um, and Twilight Princess, and probably Skyward Sword as well, actually, you know, think about it. I think you should be absolutely fine. I don't know which one of these it is, it's a bit of a guessing game, but... Oh! <laughs> let's, uh, let's go through here, I think. But no, I mean, if you ever do get the opportunity to play it, I do, uh, I do recommend it. It's an absolutely brilliant game. It's just a tad dated now because of the graphics, um, but they did make the graphics look very nice in the 3DS version. If you've got a 3DS, it's definitely worth a purchase. It's still unfortunately quite expensive because of the way that Nintendo somehow managed to keep their games um, at a high price point and they keep the value. Um, I have no idea how they do that. I think it's like a supply and demand thing. It's quite clever really. It means that Nintendo are laughing their way to the bank. Ah, oh, that was the wrong one. Oh, excuse me, but no, um, it's brilliant, brilliant, brilliant game. I'd say it's, it's better than Majora's, in my opinion. 
and a lot of the assets are the same. A lot of the characters look the same. It can be quite confusing at first, but uh, just a brilliant game. I'm going to ignore these uh, these fools. We don't need to kill them. Have I just made the same mistake again? I've just gone through exactly the same one that I did last time. I oh, know that was right. But let's try this one then, shall we? Did that one, nah, that one was the wrong one. Let's try this one. I feel like we're actually nearly there already. Is this... No, nope, that was the wrong one. Damn it! <laughs> Very trial and error this bit of the game. It's not a bad idea though. Um, we have to, we're basically... This is like, um, I think the idea, isn't it, is that um, this is like a place where the pirates keep their treasure. And it's all like, protected by magic and stuff. I think that's the idea, so it's all like confusing and all that kind of thing, it's cool. Right, so this is where we got to last time, isn't it? Um, we want to go over here, not get caught by the dude. So this has to be the right way now, because we've tried, we've tried all of the other cauldrons in this particular room. Has to be this way. Hopefully we're nearly there. Hey, this is it, isn't it? Oh, naff off, mate. You're not taking me back to the beginning. Please, please, please be the treasure chart that I need. Yes! The ghost ship chart's exactly what I wanted. Beautiful. Uh, now we should just well end that session there thank you very much for watching do like and subscribe you can find me on twitch uh, it's twitch.tv forward slash melar 21 uh, you can also find me on twitter it's at melar 211 and uh, well thank you very much for watching see you next time